When it comes to being winter around here, I really have been a fan of wearing a vest. I have worn this cotton vest for a number of years and it has been patched and patched and repatched by Diane and it's time that I make another one. I used to wear a leather vest in here that I built a number of years ago and eventually it kind of wore out too. But that's what I'm going to do here this week. I'm going to make me a new vest. Well, in the past, in my coach and carriage work, I have done upholstery with upholstery leather. And in my buggy tops, I've used a wool headliner. Well, I have some leftover material from both of those, so I'm going to make a wool-lined leather vest that I can use here in the shop. I've got some Brewster Green. I think I'll try it. Well, I'm going to use this as my basic pattern. Well, I generally like the way this vest fits. I am going to open up the arms just a little bit. Instead of a complete square bottom, I think I'm going to put kind of a little western front on the front of this. Well, I'm going to give me room for about a half inch hem. Open this arm up just a little bit.
Now if this was all material, you could just take and iron this flat and you'd be good to go. Or I could take alcohol and soften this leather and crease it, but I'm going to take and top stitch all the way around. Well, it's been probably close to 20 years since I've made a vest like this. I made probably half a dozen of them there, like say 20 years ago. Been kind of missing one. Mine got kind of pretty grungy and just kind of wore it out. So I thought it was kind of time for a new one and kind of show the process. When you do a lined vest, it's, it is kind of a puzzle to get it to work. But it's kind of fun. Thanks for following along. 